because if we have a thirst, we have plenty of lands to pitch anyway. Let's just play the Signet. I mean, I might just draw the Iona. Use the Obliterator. I mean, we're representing Cryptic at least. I still think he's going to jam, though. I still think he's going to jam. Yeah, we're pretty flooded. Let's see what we can do. There's the obliterator. Jeez. Oh, All right. Come on, deck. Don't do this to us. We have so many relevant draws. Come on. Give me something. Give me something. It's not the something I'm looking for. Come on, Dak. Come on. One time to it. Yeah, I mean, I don't need to play any more lands. We have enough for Iona now. Come on. Give me something. Sweeper, give me a gifts. Come on, give me something, deck. Hostilities. Uh, he has more thought seizes. I think it's greedy to not pop this off because he could draw the thought seize. I mean, he. I'm at 10. You just have to fire it off. That was a draw. Buy some time. Another obliterator. There's the second obliterator. Is you want to place it, or are those the two obliterators? Wow, that was both of them. Good lord, that's awesome for the opponent and not us. That was literally all of that's all of his obliterators in the whole deck. Souls, at least one souls. Maybe just do both souls. <sighs> it doesn't. It's not even gonna help. The second Souls isn't really even going to help. No, Umbreal can't. It's from your graveyard, dudes. I don't think I'm drawing a Sweeper. I think I'm more likely to draw a Path, so why don't we go ahead and re... Let's just deploy both sides of the Spirit of the Lingering Souls. Save a mana for later plays, I guess. I don't know we have so much of it, though. Gary's going to kill us. Um, I mean, you could do some blocks to try not to get die to the Gary. Um, you'd have to block with two spirits, and then you don't die to the messenger. And then, what's my out? I have to path the Phyrexia and chump block. We give up two permanents. If you think his hand is a Gary, which it might well be, he runs three Grey Merchants. It's very likely. Double block from isn't that the math? It's Grey Merchant. He's got five. He drains for six, so if I block block, we go to seven and I go to one. So I guess we'll give up a couple lands. I can give up the flagstone, it's not going to fetch for anything, and that's information for my opponent. I don't think I have another. We've already got the Godless, we've got the snow covered in hand, we've got the base of planes in play, and we've got the prairie stream. So normally you would sack the flagstones. But that's information for him. Oh, he has the, he has perfect information though. But that's also me sacrificing a, a a land that's untapped that could indicate cryptic. I think we're just gonna pitch a couple basics. Does have the great merchant, so we go to one. Alright, deck, come on. Oh, 
Oh man. Found him. If you guys are wondering where the mana sources are, I found them. Yeah, I mean, Iona would have just wrecked us. Blood Baron. No, just an efficient answer for some of his threats. Not really that interested in some of the soft permission, like remand. It's okay. It's not great timely out. Crime out. Second nodes. Ring light. I mean, Manly can be okay. This is a grind we want all of our threats. One cut. Um, Family's not great. No, it's not. It's really not. I mean, it's okay. Yeah, pack rat's a concern. Um, he's sideboarding into three duresses and Erebos. So we definitely need all of the sphere effects. Absolutely. Yeah, Erebos, duresses is what he's bringing in. Okay. In addition to all the other scary stuff, likely what he sides out is a lot of his removal. He'll probably side out the gatekeepers, the dismember, the ghosts. Yeah, like he'll side out a lot of his removal. Cut some signets. You can. Since this is a grind, I mean, yeah, it's true. We've done that before in the past. Trim one signet. So this is 28 mana source. This is 27 mana source. I'll see you, Druid. Druid. I think that's reasonable. Let's go. All right, let's win this one and try to force a game three. Signet Planeswalkers, no second White Source. Neither of these, well, if he has the Thought Seizes or the Duresses, he can just take these. He can just strip them. Um, Nodes is okay in the matchup. It's a nice, efficient answer to the Obliterator as well, in addition to the Paths. We got a Playset of Path as well. I mean, this hand is good in a grind, it's just not the Gifts. It's not the Unburial. He could just strip our hand again. I think you maybe consider this though, this is only white, one white source shy of being sweet. I mean, he can take the signet though. If he duresses, you just take signet. And then our hand is terrible. Um, yeah. This hand's not very resilient to a turn one Inquisition or duress, or thought sees. I think even the thought sees would still take the signet, so I don't know about this hand. I think you mulligan that, this potentially for that reason, because he just takes the signet and then the hand is nothing. Or very little, for a very long time. I mean, his hand is mono. His deck is mono hand hate. It's three duress, four inquisition, two thoughtsies. There's very few. There's little odds that he doesn't have it. Dimplicismal. I mean, but what's the ideal six? A gifts? He's going to take that too. I don't know. Alright, he likely has it if he's kept the seven. I mean, maybe he fears the walkers though. I mean, we would eventually draw that our mana base is mostly white. I'm assuming he's taking the signet here. Tricks also likes him more. Mulligan for the turn for Iona. 
I mean, yeah, you could mulligan to try to find a more hand hate resilient hand. We could have. We could have. I mean, this is a grind. He is a pretty. He is relatively slow. I think the fastest thing he can do is the pack rat. A lot of his other threats are relatively slow, so he would be fine. G Group says he may take notes. He's at least reading it, probably. That's what's taking him. Time to think here. Yeah. Probably notes. Of course he takes notes. No, you take the signet. <laughs> Mm-hmm. He's definitely taking signet there, Shows. He's left in the gatekeepers. I don't know if I agree, but... Alright, we're back in. Now, you could play the nodes first before you play the wall, because since, since he knows about nodes, like, because now it's a little awkward with the wall and the nodes. If I play nodes, we have to spend a turn giving up the wall. But he knows that the hand is a nodes. I mean, we can block the gatekeeper for a while. I don't have to deploy the nodes just yet. But when we do, it does mean that the wall is going to get in the way. Like, for example, against Bogles, I might consider siding down on walls for that reason. And Spirits can get in the way. There are other cards in the deck that can get in the way of the nodes. He's not kicking. He's not kicking it? Okay. Yeah, I told you I had plenty of white sources. We'd be fine. I'm kind of glad. I guess I'm glad we kept it. I mean, do you go for the D-Sphere play? Wait for him to play Obliterator, then D-Sphere? You could. I mean, maybe just play the nodes because it buys a lot of time. He's not going to want to deploy more threats if I play the nodes. Irish says he couldn't kick. Oh, that's true. It was a Nykthos. Good call. Um, I mean, not that he'd want to, though, right? If he was reading nodes, he knows that the wall is awkward. d is still a good play. I don't know. I mean, there are other things you want to hit with the D-Sphere. The 2-2 bears aren't really what I'm scared of. I might even consider just playing nodes, say go. Ike says cut him off the sphere. Everybody likes the D-sphere. Do the D-sphere because it's mana denial. Do you think that he doesn't have... Was that his turn four? No, no, no. This is going to be his turn four now. I mean, he might have bland drops. Oh, I won't Diblis. I'm just saying, like, are we sure that's the right play? There are other things I was hoping to hit with the D-Sphere in the deck. I wasn't really hoping to clean up a bunch of 2-2s. Two I mean, I know it's Mana Denial as well, but that wasn't really my plan. Rule says D-Sphere to shoot. I mean, I guess D-Sphere into Gideon is sweet, though. If we top another White Source, we can Gideon. I don't really, it's not that I care about his, I guess, I guess it cuts him off the, the black as well. He can't obliterate her if he doesn't have four black. I think this is wrong. I guess we can reset the sphere later on though. With a cryptic, I could bounce the sphere and reuse it. It's relevant. Yes. I can't cast either, Jagoo. We lost one of our white sources, took the signet. Now he's going to play the uh, enchantment. He's going to play messenger. Okay. Drew a path. I mean, that lines up well against messenger. Again, you maybe just want to spend the nodes because he knows, he knows about the nodes. He's not, I mean, there's no way that he's going to overcommit to the nodes. So we might as well just do this to buy turns. I mean, path is nice on Messenger. There are other things I want to path, though. Just use the wall block for days. Okay. Johnny likes the... Ike likes the nodes. Nodes and path wall. Oh, just path by wall, says Jigoop. I mean, he might... 